Hey there, guys. Welcome back to another episode on The School Zone. You got school, son. All right. Well, in the last episode, I kind of caught you guys up to speed on my inventory. We leveled up with a whole bunch of skill points. And then I gave you like the super quick tour of my settlement at its earliest stages. I figured it'd be a little bit cooler to do it than sort of before and after shots. You know, this way you can come back and see where I started, although I got quite a bit of progress done and then ran into that size limitation problem. But I'll figure that out and then end the Fallout 4 series with my epic settlement build, which is just going to look, it's going to be completely transformed from the last video. And then we made our way over here to the USS Constitution, where we're going to take on this last voyage of the USS Constitution quest in uh, tandem with getting our hands on the second to the last U.S. Covert Operations Manual to continue our epic sneak path. All right, so we ended the episode right before we entered. Let's jump right in it. All right. Ugh, are you kidding me? It stinks in here. <laughs> well, this is interesting, the way it's all tilted and everything. <laughs> they definitely kept that colonial flavor going on. This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable defenses, make way. Okay, that was pretty cool. A little announcement from the captain. Well, I guess I can give you the first factoid of the day. Uh, he used the word birth, B-E-R-T-H. Uh, that can have two meanings in nautical terms, actually. One of them I actually talked about in one of my Dishonored episode series. I believe it was episode 47. So I'll put a link for that in the iCard above in the description below if you want to check that out. The other meaning it can have, which I think it's uh, referring to here, is that it can mean an officer's cabin on a ship. So he's kind of uh, rolling out the carpet for us. Let's... Uh, Go over here and see what this guy's all about. Patrolling. Okay, so he's just a protectron. Defending the Constitution. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Defending the Constitution. All right, just some storage back here. Let's head up these stairs. Little mess hall. Ooh, grab some stuff out of here real quick. Let's see if we can sneak this stuff out of here. What's yours is ours. Am I right? Little pilferage. Don't open the door on me, Kate. You're blowing the gaff, <laughs> as they said in uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Okay, so that's blocked and that's blocked. So we must have to go all the way down here. Oh, the safe is open. Well, why not help ourselves? I'm looking around for that U.S. Covert Operations Manual. It's probably up here. All right, just still wandering. Locked. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. <laughs> Calm down. Whoa, whoa, easy there. Unable to comply. Stand down. That's an order. And for God's sake, use the accent. I, Captain, standing down. <laughs> okay, the first mate wanted to kill me. I don't think so. Who's this? Is an honor to crew such a story vessel. Oh, interesting. This guy's name is Bozen. So, yeah, that's an interesting name for this guy. Uh, Bozen is actually the shortened nickname for the word Boatswain. So, uh, Boatswain is uh, a senior officer on a ship that's in charge of the hull and the rigging and uh, anchors and other repairs. He's kind of like uh, the foreman on a construction site. He leads the crew in procedures and repairs. Tis an honor to crew such a story vessel. 
Huzzah for the captain and the Constitution. <laughs> okay, so he just used the word huzzah. All right, give you a quick factoid about that. Uh, huzzah is sort of an exclamation that you may hear military personnel use, especially of British origin. Uh, dates back many centuries, actually. It's sort of like saying hooray or woohoo, but, you know, may also mean like yes, sir. From the top deck. One can spot other robots from the Commonwealth, floating, listless, without purpose, but not us. Heh, <laughs> he just used the word listless. That's another good SAT word for you. It means sluggish, unenthusiastic, or limp. Let's go in here. All right, Kate's busy. I'm gonna close this door. U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Awesome, and it's not even colored red. That means we can take it. So we have already achieved our first goal here. Yes. Nice urban camouflage. All right, so we have nine out of 10. The last one we're gonna get is actually part of the main story mission. Uh, it's, uh, I believe, in the vault where we'll rescue uh, Nick Valentine. So once we do that quest, we'll be on our way you know, into the main story quest and we'll have all of the US covert operations manuals. So that totally rocks take that what else is in here turbo pump some stuff i can come back for all this oh there's a cap stash oh and it's free <laughs> nice gotta love it okay we'll come back for the rest of this stuff let me uh head upstairs to where the marker is talk to the captain charlestown yep i was right in the last episode, I mentioned that's where it was docked. How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? That is a good question, Kate. Nice spot for a last stand. Well, that's so cool. Look at the cannons. Where's some free stuff? Ship's purser. Let's check this out real quick. You upgrade logs. Okay. All right, so it looks like they're having some system problems. Okay, we'll come back probably when all this stuff is repaired. Patrolling. Maintaining present course. At current speed, we will arrive at destination in undefined hours. <laughs> okay. This must be the captain. Look at him. He's a sentry bot with a naval commander hat there. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scanned two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Wh why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. So it gets confusing sometimes, but in nautical terms, port means the left-hand side of a ship when facing forward, as opposed to starboard, which is on the right-hand side. And is it just me, or does he kind of sound a little bit like uh, James Earl Jones? <laughs> Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she donned this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. You didn't explain why you're talking like that. Look around you. In these times of great unrest, is it not prudent to adopt the manner of a more civilized time? If that answer is not to your satisfaction, I'm afraid you must make your peace with it. <laughs> oh man, all right, well, let's get down to business. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. 
You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. <laughs> For some reason, that sounds a little bit like a Monty Python reference. I could be wrong, though. Becalmed. There's so many great vocabulary words. Uh, so, becalmed means, like, to calm or pacify. In nautical terms, it also means the lack of wind needed to push the sails on a ship. I expect a response, soldier. How did it even get up here? Now this I have to hear. A harrowing tale of that, there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I can't. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, do not think I that diminishes my resolve. For your services, you will get your fair share of the prize money at the end of the voyage, the same as the rest of the crew. I consider this matter resolved. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Our look lively lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier. I was wondering. It looked like he was getting shot there. Oh man. Okay, well, let's start using our little uh, <laughs> Overseer's Guardian here. Look at that, one shot, gotta love it. Oh, it's a legendary. Yep, gotta love it. Nope. That's what I want. Perfect. Where's the next one? There you are. Alright. Just taking them out like cake. Oh, I see one. Sweet. Oh, this is so cool. One by one. Oh, look at that. There's the penetrator perk. <laughs> Gotta love it. There's another one. <laughs> Grim Reaper sprint. Mr. Navigator. Oh, you're not getting away. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Oh, this is crazy. Any more? Supposedly there's one right down there. Where would he be hiding? Oh, there he is, over there. Okay, our robots are safe. Nice. I don't know if we'll have time to raid these guys, but... They've struck their colors. Well done, man. Well, let's finish talking to him and see what happens. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. Captain Ironsides. If the scavengers keep seeking folly and destruction, I will reluctantly oblige them. Okay. Well, we didn't get to finish our conversation with him because we got attacked by some scavengers. But we got a couple little missions. We got to go talk to uh, the bosun and the first mate. Where would they be? Well, there we go. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. <laughs> My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Of course. You certainly have pep. Much obliged for the compliment. But on to the mission of the day. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including... Replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me 
to accept my undying gratitude. Okay. We have to replace the power cables. New power cables. Why bother? That's just garbage. Why toss it? Easy enough. Oh, there's some down there. All is well. There we go. Very nice. Warning. Overdue for me. Thanks. Okay. So there's someone down there to talk to as well. Should we defending the constitution? How do we get down there? Oh, here we go. All right, we'll go talk to the bosun. Let's Warning. overdue for maintenance. Let's talk to Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13 percent of ship's systems. Stole five percent of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. I just need to know where the chip is. Chip is with the thieves. Human scavengers. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. <laughs> Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. So it looks like we're on repair duty. Okay, that's if we want to leave. We can't go up there. At current speed, we will arrive at destination in Alright, so looks like we're gonna have to Acquire the navigation chip. Excuse me, Mr. Protectron. Out of my way. <laughs> Silly. All is well. Power. Bosun. Power. Course is through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems. Long starved. Regard to life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Bad for morale, sir. There were dark times. But I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain. The manner in which this ship is run and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Okay, well, he mentioned a couple of uh, good vocabulary words. First of all, he said plausibility which means having some reasonableness or believability to a statement. And he also said atone, which means to pay for a crime or an offense, usually through reconciliation with one's God. It is an honor to crew such a story vessel. Okay, so looks like we have to uh, get the power chip and a power relay coil.
Okay, so I don't happen to have a power relay coil on me, but uh, I have one back at the Red Rocket. And that's the beauty of fast traveling. So we'll just step outside, fast travel over to the Red Rocket, and then uh, take care of business. Let me just make sure they're not under attack again. How in the hell did a ship get all the way up there? We could hold out pretty well in a spot like this. Okay, good deal. All right, so let's fast travel to Red Rocket, pick up uh, power relay coil, and then we'll be right back. Gotta love these little scavenging missions. Okay, we're back at the Red Rocket. Let's see if we have one in our workshop here. I'll time lapse this for you. There we go, power relay coil. All right, let's take two of them just in case. Okay. And then uh, I can probably store some of my own junk real quick. You're going to drag that junk around. Yes, I am. It's needed to repair the USS Constitution there, Kate. All right, let's head on back over there. When the hell did a ship get all the way up there? <laughs> we will find out soon. Be patient. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't put us on the uh, top deck. That'd be entirely too convenient. Let's see if this works. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's All talk to Bosun. Well. Hey, Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. But alas, I cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah. So no more problems with the power? Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttlebutties, our guidance system is on the last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Okay. Well, he mentioned the word scuttlebutt, <laughs> which has two meanings. Uh, most of the time these days, it means like gossip, but it originally meant an open water drinking cask on a ship. So, you know that meme about people gossiping around the water cooler in an office? Well, that actually has its origins when shipmates would gossip around the water cask on a ship called the Scuttlebutt. So there you go. Okay, so here is what we have to do now. Let's see, where we go now? Oh, I see. We <laughs> Man, they make the stairs in this a pain. Defending the Constitution. Okay, I see. All right, so let's check our uh, quests and uh, see where we got to go next. now. Okay, so let's see here. We've talked to the bosom. We've repaired the power cable. We have to recover the guidance chip. Okay, so we got to recover the guidance chip from the uh, scavengers. All right, that sounds like uh, the next step in our quest here, which we will take care of in the next episode. So 
some pretty cool factoids today, and some great vocabulary words. So thanks again for joining in. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Really appreciate you tuning in. Hit that like button if you learned something new today or you just enjoyed the episode. As usual, that left annotation box will take you back to the last episode. Got to start with part one, right, if you haven't seen it. The middle annotation box will play the whole playlist for you, and when the next episode's ready, you can hit that right annotation box. Share the video around, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time on The Schooled Zone. Stay smart.